Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Problem by S. Dimashenko, D.H. Eng Textbook. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.4 and problem number 2.47. Two loads of equal magnitudes of P are supported by a flexible string ACDB as shown in the figure. Determine the tensile forces S1, S2 in the portions AC and CD respectively if L is equal to 9.144 meters and H is equal to 1.524 meters. That means initially ACDB string is like this. Here we have attached a weight P here and here we attached weight P here. Because of these weights, this string is displayed like ACDB as shown. Our interest is to find the tension force in the string AC and the tension force in the string CD. For that, we will take the free body diagram at C. What are the various forces that are acting at C? The first force is the self weight P. Next force is the force along string AC, S1. I am assuming it is a tensile force, hence it is away from the point C. Next force is S2, the force along CD. This also I am assuming it is a tensile force, hence it is away from point C. Now, let us transfer all these three forces onto separate XY plane for easy analysis. First force I am transferring that P. Next force is S1, of course. Next force is S2. Now the P and S2, these two forces are acting along X and Y axis. So need not to find the angles. But S1 is an inclined force that we need to find the angle. For that, let us take this angle is theta. Since I know the value of H and L by 3, I can find this theta. How I can find tan theta is equal to H by L by 3. Given that H is equal to 1.524 and L, L value is given, so I can find L by 3, that is 3.048 and tan theta is equal to 0.5 or theta is equal to 26.57. That means this S1 makes an angle 26.57 with the horizontal, hence this angle is 26.57 degrees. Let us divide all these forces along x-axis and y-axis. P is a vertical force, you need not to resolve. S2 is a horizontal force, you need not to resolve. But S1 makes an angle 26.57 with the horizontal. Hence, horizontal component is S1 cos 26.57 and vertical component is S1 sin 26.57. The direction of these two forces are like this because S1 in the second quadrant. So, these are the four forces and the system is under equilibrium, hence the net force along x-axis is zero and the net force along y-axis is zero. Since net force along y-axis is zero, I can say S1 sin 26.57 is equal to P or I can say P S1 is equal to 2.236P. Similarly, net force along x-axis is 0, that means S2 is equal to S1 cos 26.57 and you can substitute S1 is equal to 2.236p here and you will get S2 is equal to 2 into p. Hence, the answers are S1 is equal to 2.236p and S2 is equal to 2p.